Crossrail 2 then. Well, he obviously likes it. The Chancellor's giving the go-ahead for a second fast London underground link, as well as new road and rail connections in the north of England. It's early days, though. He's promising just £300 million for projects which could cost £30 billion. But George Osborne says he's mapped out a budget which looks to the future. It's all part of a big plan in our budget to offer long-term solutions to Britain's long-term problems, not go for the short-term fixes. And whether it's building here in our capital city or in the north of England, you're going to see in the budget a commitment to plan for the long-term and make sure Britain is fit for the future. But at this respite centre in Essex, they worry about spending cuts. The government's changing disability payments, saying those most in need will get more. But overall, the changes are supposed to save £1.2 billion. Catherine has long-term problems from childhood leukaemia. If it's cut anymore, I won't have the eight-plus hours I need. because The eight-plus hours of care? We can't afford it. Tom has multiple sclerosis and the same worries. Does it seem fair to you? No, it does not, no. You know, I've worked hard for 25 years. I've got a mess. I didn't do anything wrong to get a mess. Um, it's not my fault. <laughs> and William fears a cut in money for him will mean he won't be able to afford time at this centre. It's something different, something a different element for myself. And do you worry that you might lose that? Yeah. Tomorrow he has a job of work to do to convince the country he can balance the books and look after those who need a little help.